Okay, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm gonna make a quick demonstration just why a backlit CMOS sensor for your image sensor is important if you have a video camera or say a camera with it. Um, right now I'm running at night on a back road with just my headlights on my car with that CMOS sensor uh, activated. What I'm gonna do is uh, shut it off here and you can easily tell the difference. Um, that is with it off. And, and just a standard uh, um, image sensor on this JVC camcorder I got. No huge sensor or anything. Uh, let me get it turned back on. And there's with it on. Uh, if you pick a camera up, I would highly recommend that you get one with that backlit sensor. It just for low light conditions, you can't beat it. Um, it does make it grainier, as you can see, you know, versus say daylight. But it does switch uh, auto, like I, as on this camcorder, this EX210, and it'll shut that sensor off if it's light enough which you'll get your high definition back but um, maybe when I get home here I'll do a couple shots outside but like I said that's this is with it on yeah if I can get to it this is with it off and just horrendously no comparison with it back on all right I'm at home now I'm running with that uh, backlit CMOS sensor on keep in mind I'm in a very very low light uh, area got one little 13 watt uh, light bulb once she focuses in here that I'm using um, just a quick demonstrate again with it on versus off now here I can barely see the end of that driveway just about the same as the camera now I'm gonna shut that uh, CMOS that backlit off and that's what it looks like with it off and there's the light now let's get that guy turned back on and it, this is back on then the other quick one like I'd said in the car um, it's automatic like most cameras I got a, a real real nice bright uh, t6 flashlight here it runs on four 18 650 batteries uh, once you do have a bright enough light uh, you get your HD back full HD without the graininess um, you know, and then of course that light's going to start going down, that uh, starts helping, you know. Um, just like all cameras, the focus isn't the greatest at, at night time, but you get, you know, you get the picture. This is with that, with that backlit sensor on, and then this is with it off. I don't know about you, but uh, I'd rather have one that has one and have grainy, a little bit grainy image at night versus no image at night. Um, like I said, uh, get the lighting on, you know, bright enough light, you're going to get your full, uh, it's going to automatically shut it off. I think it's the same with all, all cameras that have it, but very valuable uh, asset to these little handy cams or these JVCs or whatever you want to Sony's and that I'm pretty sure a lot of them have it but it's all I wanted to do was just demonstrate uh, the ability of it I mean you're looking at a tree that's that trees roughly a couple hundred yards away you know, if I'm going to shut that thing off, which I'll try here, 
if I don't lose focus too much. All right, there's with the sensor on, and here is with that sensor off. Hard to shine a deer at night with like that, but kind of get the idea.